know, have you ever gone through periods where you trip a lot or you hurt yourself? Those are really important messages that your body is trying to tell you or your mental body is trying to tell you or your emotional body is trying, somebody is trying to get your attention and they just want you to sit down for just a minute and have a chat. But we go, oh gosh, and then we go, oh, I'm so stupid and oh, there we go again, right? And then we keep going throughout our day. So when these things happen, take the time to sit just for one second and find out what the heck is going on. I burnt my right hand three times in like a two week period. Took me a while to kind of get the message <laughs> that I needed to slow down, that I needed to do something different. And it took me a while. And I literally have little scars. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't paying attention. So your body's trying to talk to you all the time. Hey, you know, people cut me off on the freeway, too. <laughs> so how do we observe that? What is that? Is that, you know, what happened to me the other day was I was cut off on the freeway. And I was coming here to teach a class. And, and instead of, you know, yelling at the driver, which I probably would have done a few years ago, at least out loud, and now I just say it in my head, no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I looked at the bumper sticker and I said, wow, that car cut me off. Wow, they're from Indiana. Huh. I ended up having a 20-minute conversation with my grandmother who had been born in Indiana, thinking about her, doing forgiveness process with her in the car. She may or may not have been there, according to your belief system. But I know what was going on, and I know that it was time for me to have a dialogue with her because when she was alive, it wasn't pretty. And I needed to let that go. And there this car was that just like, I mean, they just like, and I was like, you know, slamming the brakes. There it was, Indiana. Huh, what does that mean? Signs are everywhere for you. They, they trip over themselves putting signs out for you. <laughs> you just have to look for them. And, and allow yourself to see them when they come. That butterfly, that hummingbird, what joy, what grace. The tree that's standing on the side of the road that recognize, look at how still it is and yet how alive it is. I happen to use the word surrender. Surrender is a big buzzword for a lot of people. What does surrender mean to people out here? What does surrender mean to some of you guys about when it has to do with war? military stuff. If you stop resisting in war, it's lethal? Could be. Hmm. Yes. So I'm just going to put here stop resisting and lethal. Can you surrender into the idea that you can accept yourself exactly as you are, judgments and all, thought forms and all, can you surrender into a deep sense of healing? It's like landing a jumbo jet, like I said. So you've got this plane, you've got the wind variables, you have other airplanes around, you've got to hear what the tower's saying. So you adjust constantly, you're adjusting constantly to land that. So you must, in your lovingness to who you are, constantly adjust to what the situation is and be in love with that and be in acceptance to what is. You don't have to let go and let God. What you have to do is participate in the healing effort of your whole system. You got to be right in there with your cells, be in there with your blood, be in there with, you know, changing a bacteria and a virus to white blood cells. You got to be there. You got to love your system and help it. And you do that, of course, with food and diet, you know, supplements and this and that. But here and here, I have an extraordinary colleague that just passed away. I'm going to tell you a story. And he worked with physical ailments with people. You can do this for yourself. He got a call from a woman whose son had a cleft palate and they were gonna go in for surgery. 
in like two weeks. He was an extraordinary man. He just passed uh, two weeks ago. Every day, for seven days, he astral projected himself into the kid's mouth, and he said to the thing, he close, 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 close. Every day. Seven days he did that. They took the kid into surgery. Guess what? The doctor said, ah, you've got the wrong boy here. It was healed. I know you can do that. And the reason I know is because they told me so. <laughs> and because I've seen it. And you all have the capability of talking to your cells, talking to your organs, your glands, your bones, your joints, keeping your supplements, keeping your Western or your alternative meds. Yeah, it's all an adjunct to it. I think of empowerment as sort of the, a little opposite of surrender, but it doesn't have to be that way in this context. When I open my sessions, the first thing I do is I ask my client to consciously give themselves permission to heal because Believe it or not, people will pay me, they will come, they want to heal, and nothing happens because there is resistance on some level of who they are. You have to give yourself permission to heal. Joyfully, yeah, we're all in this together. We're all in this together, and I give myself permission to heal. Soften the sharp edges. You just take the moment and you, when you go to that place of, oh, and you go, whoa, wait a minute. Let's back up. And that's when the major opportunities come because you'll be able to see them and feel them and hear them. You're not so caught up in the external. There was a, um, a Tai Chi guy on a motorcycle. He was telling me this story how he had taken these Tai Chi lessons for years and, and he got into an accident and he knew that if he just relaxed and surrendered in the accepting kind of way that he would be okay. That if he went into, he was going to break everything and he came out of it and he told me this story. He said, my Tai Chi saved my life because it made me remember to yield and surrender and not go into that fight or fight mode. So it pays to do that and then you get you give yourself permission and then you empower yourself when you're soft and loving.